Good morning and welcome back to our channel. So I have some sort of rash or something going on with my face. So I'm not gonna be wearing any makeup in probably the next few video videos that you watch. I know I could probably wear like eye makeup and stuff, but I'm just keeping it like fully clear. So today is football Sunday. Um, Zach is a huge fan of football. To me, like, it's okay. <laughs> I don't I don't hate it. I'm not one of those people that's like, ew, sports, because I used to play sports. Also, that is a tomato, in case you're wondering. But anyway, I'm more excited because today we are grilling, and I just made some buffalo chicken dip, which I'm going to show you what's inside of that, and I'm making some fruit salad. So yeah, I wanted to, oh, and I've got to make some Asian salad too, like the ramen one. But I wanted to show you guys everything that I've made so far. All right, so I got a crock pot recipe of this off of Pinterest, but it's just uh, four cups of shredded chicken breast, um, one cup of cheese, which you're supposed to use cheddar, but I used Mexican because that's what we got from Sam's Club, um, a cup of ranch, and three-fourths cup of buffalo sauce. And we just used Hidden Valley Ranch, and um, we did use a buffalo sauce that we've never used before. I'll see if I can show it to you guys. I don't know, I don't know where I put it. Oh, there it is. So it's Moore's Original Buffalo Wing Sauce. We got it from the commissary on base. But um, yeah, so that's going in the Instant Pot on slow cooker mode. And then I cut up some carrots and celery. And then Zach's having some tortilla chips. I'm not gonna lie, of course, I've had a few tortilla chips too. My counter is super messy, so excuse that. But yeah, so now in here, I'm making a honey lime fruit salad. So this is three tablespoons of local hive Florida honey. Um, also from Sam's Club. And then I'm zesting a little bit of the lime and then I'm gonna squeeze all of the lime juice into here, cut up the fruit, and I'll show you guys how that looks. <laughs> Milo, don't put chalk in the pellets. <laughs> Six 
Thank you, Bill. Good job. Let's talk about the Texas Tech Stadium and Bowling. We're going to start out with Tyrod Taylor first. Last week, 290 yards throwing the football, two touchdowns, no turnovers, 40 yards rushing. But Tyrod can still move around, that's for sure. Who is he going to throw to? Brandon Cooks, only five catches for 132 yards. Deep play down the field, and Tyrod was a great well, that's deep unfortunate. Over the Cleveland Browns, Baker Mayfield, he threw the ball tremendous against the Kansas City Chiefs. Oh my God, he threw a touchdown. He threw an interception. Stop doing the perfection, Bill Cowher. That's for sure. Nick Chubb, reincarnation of Jim Brown. That's a lot of it. Big, fast, runs over people. Great blocking offensive line. They got it. They set us up right now. All right, well, I can tell you a lot you don't know. We got Bronco in the field. In the back, I think more of uh, Bill Sims. Now, why is this game good? Well, I'll tell you. All right, how's that second play going to look fantastic? You know, the game is won on third and fourth down. And 14 out of 16 of this position, you have to have 10 first downs on those downs. You got to move the stick for a count. Melvin Gordon, cool man, is still in a number one running back. I turned it off last week. A full running back. You can run out of the backfield, catch the ball, and run in between the tackles. Von Miller missed the entire season last year and came back, started off on fire. Two sacks. My man had his 19th most high sack game in the game. He still had some juice in his leg. And this young fella right here, he's exciting to watch. He makes you look in the face. A couple of late touchdowns. He ended up with three, but also three interceptions. He's going to have his hands full, though, because you know that that defense for the Broncos are going to get after the young rookie. And if you want to see some football like you've never seen it before, you've got to check out NFL Prime Time and Nickelodeon. That's right. Join me to tackle the East West Prime Time and Sunday Morning Matchup. Make sure you catch NFL Prime Time every single Wednesday at 7 Eastern on Nickelodeon. So one of our peaches is bad. You get free delivery. Like all where are you going? Oh. Want a blueberry? Well, you want to try one now? Oh. You said no. No blueberry. How about a carrot? Oh, yeah. Take a carrot. You just had two blueberries. my teeth I actually did put on a little mascara just because I look scary um, brush my hair again and now I'm gonna wipe my nose, nose. <laughs> he's got like a touch of a cold or teething or both of them combined and I don't know what's going on because they're all just losing their mind this weekend and it doesn't help that, um, there's that tomato again. That Zach got news that he was gonna be, um, 
deploying essentially, going on a, shoot, a short tour uh, here soon. Pretty short notice actually. And so we're trying to decide like, cause we don't probably want to stay in McDill. You know, we weren't ready to leave, but we'll see. You can come over. Do you go to the bathroom? But yeah, so it doesn't help that we've been like stressed from that. And then on top of the kids just going crazy all weekend. I don't know if the moons are aligned wrong, but they're just going crazy. So lots of yelling, lots of freaking out, all that. I was up until midnight last night, so I think I'm gonna make a espresso real fast. I'm doing the uh, Cafe Bustello pods right now. Which are just these little yellow ones. And I brewed it as a longo yesterday and I really care for it, so we're gonna do espresso today. Just do a splash, the teensiest splash of the pumpkin spice chobani. Like Buddy, can I have it while I get you a, a spoon? Yeah, thank you. You look so cool. Who are you? I am that. Um, 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 um. Oh. Are you back, girl? Back, girl. I can tell you're looking at my shirt. <laughs> All right, so I just sent Zach and his friend out to Publix because I got a coleslaw mix for the Chinese chicken salad. And it was like gray already. It said it was still good and it didn't smell bad, but meh. Had them go get another one anyway. And so I'm watching the kids. And um, so yeah, I've got eczema around my mouth and that's what I wanted to show you guys the mask I got um, from Lush yesterday, which Lush is at like malls. It's um, like an organic company, but this is the one I got and they have to stay in the fridge. So I got Catastrophe Cosmetic. And it says it's a fresh face mask when disaster when disaster looms, calming calamine and fresh blueberries save the day. And that's like what it is. It's blue and gray. And this was like significantly more red yesterday. So I'm excited. I only used about that much. Oh, Milo. Make me more happy. More happy. More happy. Here, I'll take that. Cheese stick? That's face mask. Can't really eat that. Um so yeah, I'm I'm pretty excited. I'm gonna use it maybe like once a week. And it looks like I've got maybe three more applications. Do you want me to take that off? There you go. And, uh, yeah, I'm excited. I hope it helps. If not, I'm going to have to go back to the dermatologist because it's only on this side. You don't want it now? All right, so here's how Zach's brisket turned out. It was really good. It was a little on the dry side. It's only the second brisket that he's made. I still really liked it. Um, 
hot dogs for the kids. Here's how the Chinese chicken salad turned out without the chicken. It was really good. I'm actually having another little bowl of it. And we had our Trader Joe's cold brew coffee barbecue sauce with our brisket. So that's pretty cool. And then of course, you guys already saw that. But yeah, so we're finishing up eating now. Ready? I'm glad I'm friends with all these kids now. Of course, I need something to do it. Oh, some more of it though. He talks like the real one. The real one is like. I'm not. Look. 